Oh. 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 You know what, Josh? You know what you need to see, bro? You need to see this Tekken 8, B. You know what's been up? I was just saying this, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, Bandai Namco America, Entertainment America, has been blessing the community. The people who love Tekken with trailers, right? Like some really cool trailers at that. And like all the characters that they have uh, shown us so far, no new characters. We haven't even seen Jun yet, even though we know she's supposed to be playable. But what, we got Kazuya, which I talked about with you guys, but also Jin, Paul, and like most recently Law. So I figured I might as well look through them with you guys. I did have one like that I looked at and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna show this with the people, but I might as well watch it with you guys again. Bro, we straight got an updated versus screen though for the Bandai Namco sign, bro. Get ready for the next battle. Lightning of Fate though. First off, Jin looks cool as shit. Look at the character portraits. Oh, the superhero landed too. Oh, power crush that goes into Demon Paw, looks like. Bro, did y'all see the eye glow? Bro, what is this sick-ass launcher he's doing? What was that ender he just did? Strength isn't everything. Oh, is that one plus two? What the fuck? Oh! Uh. Oh, 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 break. Y'all see the omen? Uh, 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 the power crush ending. <laughs> I like the zoom in the cinematics. Bro, that shot, I don't care how you feel. That shit looks amazing. Oh. I shall not waver again, though. Bro, this song. All right, all right, all right. For the one time, we got to look at it. We got to go back and look at a couple things. Hold on. There's a couple of things that, that caught my eye in this. Outside of, outside of the obvious character growth, you know what I'm saying? My man said, sorry to keep you waiting. He's a little bit cockier. You know what I'm saying? Like he's more sure of himself. Yo, Coogie! Coogie, Coogie! Get ready for the next battle. Also, my man's ready to do battle because he's actually wearing boots this time. Got the tank top ready for battle. Uh. First off, let's just take a second to appreciate how good this game looks. Look at the texture on the jacket. Look at how his hair just ever so slightly goes around the collar. The layers, guys. The layers, guys. Looks like real leather right here. Damn, he looks so sick, dude. Oh! Also, peep the superhero landing. Also, y'all can't tell me my man don't even seem more confident. I feel like his emo days are behind him. They're, right, they're on his back with that wing. Every time you see the little wing come out, that's the emo leaving his body. But no. Jin definitely seems more matured, right? He also seems just a little bit older. He's getting that old Mashima jawline. You see it? You see how sharp it is? Even his jacket. It's, it's so deep and cut, it's going into his jacket now. But he looks sick as hell. Also, they need to release this jacket. Also, my man's got a brand new low now. I'm going to just account that to Devil Jin. The Devil Jin low, we're going to call it. And it looks like it has some tracking on it, too. And the reason that I say it's like the Devil Gen low is because you can see like the little wing, the little emo wing pops out. Boom. Also, this power crush looks the same as this down one, but the follow up looks like it's a new counter hit or like they said, one of those moves that actually get enhanced. So he also hits a little emo wing right there. Uh, uh power crush. And then that right there as well, right? Like what the hell is this? It looks like he sidestepped, so it's probably like a sidestep two right here. And then the eye, first off, I don't know if y'all know this, 
but anything with the eye laser trail, that shit instantly makes whatever is happening on the screen 10 times cooler. Especially when it's justified. The devil gen, come on guys, the gene, we know what's, we know what's happening. But also like this transition of him doing like whatever this move is into like Hell Sweep or, or LLRK. And he's got uh, the follow-up too, which looks like a devil gen follow-up. So right here. That, yeah, a little emo leaving his body right there. Two four, two four still. Now this is really weird. Not this part. This right here. So this string he does either has a new follow-up or it's a new move. And this move looks like really familiar. It looks like the Tekken Tag 2, like the angel move where she like went up in the air. But it's also like a mixture of the Devil Jam moves as well. So like right there, right? So he has the follow-up. You can see the wing. He gets a hard knockdown. This, what the hell is this? This is also looks like, once again, like the angel. The kick up move. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That follow up there. That, and that's also a new ender, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's an animation change. Strength isn't everything. Also, you once again, you can see that Mishima jawline really starting to pop. It's really starting to pop out. He looks a little older. A little more mature. I don't know what kind of tank top this is that has, like, drawstrings in the t-shirt. I, I, don't, I don't know what the functionality of that is. I don't really know why you would do that. But anyway, yeah, man, strength isn't everything. My man's growing up. Once again, high collars for maximum anime action here. You see what I'm talking about with this jawline, bro? That's a crew cut tank top. They do that. Can somebody point me to where I can buy one of these? I'm finally back in the gym again. I feel like I might be able to pull this off. Jin is giving me more confidence. Okay. Look at that shot, though. Come, come, guys. Can we appreciate how pretty this game looks? Look at the lighting on his back. Not all the way on his face, but right where the collar stops. Right by the eyes, reflecting off of the hair. Come on, dude. Come on. Also, if this is the new animation on 1 plus 2, that's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, uh, 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 he tucks it in on the side. What the hell is what the hell is all of this? It look you know what it looks like a uh, laser scraper, but in heat mode. The heat mode laser scraper. That's what this looks like. And that looks like the the I guess the heat version of the flip move again, right? 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that looks sick. Hike. Ugh. <laughs> so three one gets a new as uh, a new extension as well, but also this right here. So I saw people talking about this, and this is definitely he had this in a uh, Tekken tag, and it was his omen stance. But what it would do is, since he uses traditional karate, he would be able to use old Mishima style moves. So like Heiachi moves. Essentially, it was Heiachi moves, kind of our mixture of like Devil Gen, but it was more um, Heiachi, right? Um, but I don't know how this works or how it gets accessed, but I remember you actually had to do like a special input for it back in the day. It was like hold it and then like one, one, two or some shit like that. It was really weird, but uh, it's cool that they actually brought this back. And also even more so that is useful in Tekken four. He had the, he had a parry off of it or something. I think he had like, that's how he got access to his Tekken three parry was using this. So it's cool that they actually brought this back and they're making it like useful again. But also, another thing that makes me think that Heiachi won't be coming back is the fact that they're making moves that he has useful for other characters, like this right here, right? Uh, cause that's like a Omen Godfist combo right there. All I know is this shit is sick though. Uh, and also, the fact that it seems like there's an auto parry, um, this isn't the first time I noticed this. It seems like there's an auto parry on the activate, right? We saw it on Kazuya, and now I'm seeing we're seeing it on Jin as well. Right? So, like, he does this, right? He activates heat, and once he's running in, like, he mashes a button, right? He hits a button, and that's when it automatically happens. He uses it. Like, he uses the Omen Stand Parry, which wall splat. Bro, what about the glizzies, though? What about the hot dogs, though? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! The crackpot hot dogs is falling all out. 
glizzies everywhere. Look, look at this lady just trying to have a business. Like, damn. You wonder why this location was show, so cheap? They ain't tell you they was holding the Tekken tournament here. They ain't tell you that's what was happening. She's like, God, damn. look at her face. Damn. Damn. She's just looking around. She's like, all these hot dogs going away. <laughs> uh. The signature glizzies. Bro, peep the shots, though. Peep the shots though. You see how he just accesses a little bit of the of the devil gene right here? Just a little bit. This is some Naruto shit. Uh. Also, y'all know I'm a fan of poses. Peep the pose though. Peep the pose though. Uh. Uh. Hit the taunt for free. With the devil gene, like right there, bruh. Come on now. Come on now, yo, fighting games. When you got the glow, you need the glow. <laughs> you said Sephiroth was like a... Woo, shit! I shall not waver again. Look at the hope in my guy's eyes, bro. The end of emo gen is all... It's here. It's done now. This is more like the advanced Linkin Park gen right here. This is like Meteora gen right now. <laughs> I keep seeing the Mega Mind chin on the windscreen. That's that Mishima jawline, bro. He used to chill out and get into music or something. Oh, look, I feel like that's the next step for Jim, bro. After he saves the world, he's going to settle down, him and Ling, and he's going to start him a band. Shit's going to be amazing. Of course he's going to be nicer to Ling now. I feel like it's legit. He's gonna, there's going to be like a scene in Tekken 8 where he's like, yo, I was, I was tripping. I was on my Sasuke shit, you know? And, and then Ling's going to be like, who's Sasuke? He's like, it's an anime thing. You wouldn't get it. But, <laughs> Soul Zan, what's good? Also, just take a second and appreciate this music. Every time. Give it. Drop the track, Bandai Namco. Stop playing with me. Either way, Jin looks cool as hell. I am super excited. Uh, also, once again, man, I feel like these trailers do nothing but, like, fuel my speculation that they're going to, like, either trim the move list or we're going to see, like, some major shifts on these characters. Like, I don't know. That's just me. But... There's more trailers.